us. You talked about going to the White House. Mm -hmm. I want to share that. Uh, you know, share a little bit about that. 2010, you had the opportunity to uh, deal with the president and some of his advisors in regards to mm -hmm. uh, what you do. Share with us a little bit about how that all came about and what it was all about. Well, one of the great things about this administration, and it's not even a partisan thing, is they, they've really embraced the White House as a meeting place for all parties in the United States. Uh, so they've hosted a series of summits with people who are really, who they view are experts at what they do. Uh, so they invited 22 of us from, who are African American program leaders. Uh, City Limits was there, News One was there, The Grio, uh, MSNBC, different components that really have done a good job of reaching out to communities of color across the board mm -hmm. and still managed to pull a mainstream audience as well. Uh, so a lot of our outlets actually are, cover African American issues and communities of color but have a majority white audience. So they really wanted to tap into how we did that and how we managed to be successful and how they really could not solely focus on mainstream press but invite in other outlets to have the same kind of access that they receive. And, and, and sharing a little bit about it, what did the president actually say? Well, he honestly thanked us for our work uh, and for what we managed to do. I mean, the, the key thing is media and the political dis political discourse need each other. Uh, like I said, media was created to really serve as this tool between what was happening on the ground and what was happening in the halls of our capitals. Uh, so he asked us to really work with them as far as pr providing the coverage that was necessary for them also to get their message, not, not necessarily as a tool of the White House, mm -hmm. uh, because I don't want people to think that's what we were there for, mm -hmm. but really providing an outlet for us to have an equal exchange. Mm. And I think that's when things started to sh change for him, mm -hmm. when they started to actively do that with more than just Fox and NBC and the major press, that they really started to look individually outside of that because they realize the audiences today are fragmented. Right, and, and, yeah. and there are a lot of people who aren't engaging in those main mainstream places that we might still consider, consider and view as mainstream. Yeah. But as we were sharing before, a lot of places could be obsolete and are, are, there, are, and are, are on their way, if you will, to becoming a dinosaur. Yeah. And to some extent, a lot of the same readers read the same stuff. So, I mean, there's a, it's amazing because now there's so many analytics that you can see where your audiences overlap. So if my audience is all the same audience from the New York Times, I'm not doing my job. Mm. Uh, and if our audience is the same audience as reading New York One, we need to really branch outside of that. So I think each publication offers an opportunity to really reach a total different subset of our country. Mm -hmm. How are you able to garner a pulse on those issues that aren't being tapped into? I honestly think is you really have to step outside of the writer's pen and really know what's going on in the communities. Mm 